On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability of the Taliban regime. On July 2, 2021, American troops pulled out of their main military base in Bagram, Afghanistan, under an agreement with the Taliban, allowing for the withdrawal of all U.S. forces from the country after a two-decade war. Let's look back at the forever war and what transpired in the last 20 years. The 9-11 attacks that led to the fall of the World Trade Center shook the world to its core. This led to the Pentagon invading Afghanistan in an effort to dismantle Al-Qaeda and remove Taliban from power. Following the US bombing campaign, thousands of protesters set fire to the US Embassy in Kabul. But the US Special Forces, working with members of the Northern Alliance in Afghanistan, managed to remove Taliban from power, with Kandahar, the largest city in southern Afghanistan, falling on December 6. Thanks to our military and our allies and the brave fighters of Afghanistan, the Taliban regime is coming to an end. Residents of Kabul celebrated the collapse of the Taliban regime as they danced on the street and shaved their beards, which were mandatory under the Taliban rule. The first conference for Afghanistan was held in Bonn, Germany, soon after the fall of the Taliban regime to establish a transitional government in Kabul. In 2004, the first presidential elections were held since the fall of Taliban and Hamid Karzai was sworn in as Afghanistan's new president at the presidential palace in Kabul. In 2013, NATO Secretary General Anders Rasmussen said Afghanistan would continue to receive support as the International Military Coalition marked its final handover of security to national forces. He welcomed the transition that would see Afghan security forces take charge of their country. For many of you, this will be your last tour in Afghanistan. And by the end of this year, the transition will be complete and Afghans will take full responsibility for their security and our combat mission will be over. America's war in Afghanistan will come to a responsible end. The 2014 presidential election was logged in bitter contest between candidates Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah. U.S. State Secretary John Kerry convinced the two feuding candidates to agree to a total recount of April's presidential election, ending months of turmoil over a disputed election that destabilized the country. Finally, the United States signed a deal with Taliban insurgents on February 29, 2020 that paved the way toward a full withdrawal of foreign soldiers from Afghanistan and represented a step toward ending the 18-year war in the nation. As the end approached, U.S. President Joe Biden said on April 14, 2021 that U.S. troops will be withdrawn from Afghanistan starting May 1 to end America's longest war, rejecting calls for them to stay to ensure a peaceful resolution. The withdrawal of foreign troops was supposed to be completed by September 11 that would mark the 20-year anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. However, Taliban was able to take over complete control of Afghanistan with President Ashraf Ghani leaving on August 15. We did not go to Afghanistan to nation build. And it's the right and the responsibility of Afghan people alone to decide their future and how they want to run their country. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. The Pentagon on Sunday authorized another 1,000 troops to help evacuate U.S. citizens and Afghans who worked for them, expanding its security presence on the ground to almost 6,000 troops within the next 48 hours. A federal report.